What is Bubble Heart? So for those of you who don't know, this is coming straight out of classic World of Warcraft, where in that game, if you're playing a paladin, you have this ability that makes you completely immune to damage and crowd control effects, which means that if that's the case, throughout that duration, you can just Hearthstone away safely back to town. This is basically just teleporting in Diablo 4 back to town. And it is available in this game as well. And not only that, but it's available for all five classes and any class that's coming into this game in the future, unless this mechanic completely changes. So right now, there is an aspect which does make you completely immune to both damage and crowd control effects that you can place on a piece of gear, preferably on an amulet, so that you can increase the duration of the immunity all the way up to 7 seconds, which is more than enough because a teleport back to town is only gonna have a 3 second duration. So it's gonna be very comfortable, you don't have to panic and quickly hit the teleport to make it out there before the immunity expires, although of course you don't have forever. So why is this something that is good? Well, first of all, the plan is to have it, as I said, on an amulet, you don't care about how good or how bad that amulet is, just have it in your inventory with this aspect on top of it, and it's just a placeholder for this power, so that whenever you want to activate this immunity, all you do is you just open up your inventory and you equip this amulet to gain that immunity. It's that simple, and don't worry, you can actually equip gear even in the middle of combat. It is not restricted, so that's why this works. So I'll give you a few instances where this might actually be useful, but I am sure that you will be able to come up with way more, because it's one brain versus I don't even know how many more. So let's say you're doing a nightmare dungeon and the butcher shows up, and for whatever reason you don't want to kill it, you just want to skip it. All you do is as the butcher comes for you, of course, it's going to attack you and it's going to take you below 80% HP because, yes, unfortunately, the bit of a caveat here is that you cannot be healthy for this effect to take place, which means that you need to be below 80% health to gain the immunity bubble, but in this case, it works perfectly fine. So you're sitting there, the butcher comes for you, you equip the amulet real quick, then as you have the second, second uh, immunity duration, just teleport back to town, you spend like 2-3 seconds in town, just to, to make sure that the butcher has despawned, and then you just take that, take that same portal back into that dungeon, and you continue on with your merry way. Instance number 2, you have just completed a nightmare dungeon, and you want to go do the next nightmare dungeon, so you use up the key, and you get automatically teleported out of the dungeon. But sometimes there's these annoying mobs outside of a dungeon that continue to interrupt your teleport to the next nightmare dungeon. So usually what you do is you either try to gamble and, well, try to actually pull off that three second teleportation before you get hit, or you would just go kill them all real quick and then you teleport. Or alternatively, you can have this amulet. Now, the thing is, if you try to cast teleport, you will trigger the monsters to come and attack you, but also if you move in any way, you will trigger them to come and attack you. So you do want to move a little bit, let them come to you, and then just equip the amulet and open up the map. Find where the Nightmare Dungeon is, and you can teleport there safely, because by that time, especially if you're playing a glass cannon build, you would have dropped below 80% HP, and you have that immunity bubble active. You don't even have to be looking at your character. It's worked for me, but of course, this technique really isn't going to be working for every build, because especially in the later game, you will have a bunch of damage reduction, and just normal mobs outside might not... It might just take forever for you to drop below 80% HP, but in some instances, especially if you're leveling up and you, you're not quite that tanky, this technique might still be quite useful. Reason number four, if you're doing PvP and you get jumped by like three or four other players and there's no way you're gonna win that fight, you're about to lose all of the currency that you have obtained, the PvP currency, well, you can just again equip this amulet real quick, the immunity will automatically pop and there is absolutely nothing any one of those four or three or however many players there are there that they can do about it. You can just port back to town, hey, at least you weren't killed and at least you know what's going on in this area, and maybe you want to come back a different time. But you didn't give them the satisfaction of you actually getting killed. 
uh, number four, hardcore. Do I have to say more? It's essentially just another form of cheat death if you're playing hardcore. If you feel like you're about to die doing anything open world inside the dungeon, you can just equip the amulet real quick and it'll save your entire character. Just a few instances I could think of uh, right now. As I said, I'm sure you'll be able to come up with more of this. I just provide you with the tools and then you can see and choose exactly how you want to utilize them. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, which is probably going to be a challenge rift guide for the seasonal launch of season 29 Diablo 3. Cannot believe I'm still saying that. Take care.